Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to solve sibilance issues on a Mac. If you don't know what sibilance is, it's the harsh sounding S, T and Z sounds that are quite hissy and it can be quite painful on the eardrum if you're listening with mic uh, headphones on. So I'm in a really bad environment here. My voice to start with isn't very good, it's quite sibilant. And in the room, I mean, it's just a little box room, there's lots of harsh, shiny surfaces like the the work surface in front of me, the doors that are painted with gloss and all this, and they just amplify and echo the sibilance and make it much, much worse. Uh, and I'm using fairly basic equipment. This is, you know, there's no sort of pro tools here whatsoever. Um, and there are a few things that you can do. Obviously, you can train your voice. You can get in a better room and start putting egg cartons all over the walls to sort of deal with some of the sound issues. You can tilt your microphone down by about 10 to 15 degrees so it's pointing more at your throat rather than your mouth and that helps a little bit but if it's got really bad problems you're going to need to use what's called a de -esa. so the de i'm using the one i found easiest to use and most reliable is fabfilter pro ds uh, unfortunately it's commercial it's about one to two hundred dollars not cheap by any means but it really solves the problem very well you can see everywhere in this audio waveform where there's a green patch, that's where it solved some of my sibilance problems, sibilance problems even. Uh, the way you do that is you set a range down here that says what frequency range does the sibilance occurring. You then set a threshold that defines how loud does it have to be before the filtering kicks in. And the range sets how much the volume is reduced by. Now there's lots of other cool features on this. Uh, filter but I won't go into those there's a great demo video on the FabFilter Pro DS website that explains all these things and much much more. Your next task is to get this to actually happen live on your microphone input so you can see here as I'm talking you've got all these readouts going this is happening in real time. And the way I've done that is I've installed a fairly cheap app I think it's about one to two dollars from the App Store called Audio Plugin Player. This lets me take the input, which is my actual microphone, the Rode Podcaster, it's a USB microphone, and run that through the de the filter, this thing over here on the left, and then put that into something called Soundflower. Now, Soundflower is like a virtual microphone. Instead of taking its input from you know, the sounds in your room, like a normal microphone does, it takes its input from some sound source on your computer. In this case, the filtered Rode Podcaster feed. It then behaves to all of the other applications on the computer as if it's a microphone. So I've told my screen recording software to take its audio from Soundflower, which is the filtered audio from my actual real microphone, the Rode Podcaster. So Soundflower is a free app, you can grab that online and it's open source, you just install it and it just works basically. You, you give it some inputs as I've done here with the audio plugin player and then you tell your other applications, your recording application to use Soundflower as the microphone instead of your real microphone. That's all for now, thanks, bye.